How do I know that God loves me? Right there. The cross. That's how I know that God loves me. Because he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. I can have confidence. Why? Because I know that no matter what happens in my life, I don't care if the bottom drops out, I don't care if even death comes to my door, I can still have confidence in the fact that God loves me. When you understand how much God loves you, your confidence level just starts going up and up and up. When you experience God's love, not just know it in your mind, but when you actually experience it for yourself, whether it be through salvation, through forgiveness of your sins, whether it be through some miracle that God did for you in your life, God is building confidence in you right then at that moment, helping you to understand, I'm with you, I'm here for you, I love you, I won't let you go. Look at what it says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 17 through 18. Let's read it out loud together. God's love has reached its goal in us, so we look ahead with confidence. No fear exists where his love is. Rather, perfect love gets rid of fear. Wow. Say, well, I, I have all this fear. Remember, those, that's one of the four things I told you that erodes confidence in our life, right? We live in fear. And if I'm always cowering, I'm always anxious, I'm always afraid of everything that, that might happen, that could happen, that, that is happening, then my confidence level is declining, going down and down and down. But when I understand how much God loves me, and I've experienced his love in my life, what happens to fear? Right out the back door. It just vanishes, it disappears. It, love, what does he say? Love gets rid of fear. And I want to illustrate that for you, all right? I brought up a couple things here, and I want you to think about this. I've got a jar with some water in it, and I want you to think of this jar as your life and my life. And I'm going to take a little bit of this detergent, and I'm just going to put a little bit in the jar, and I want you to think of that as fear. Say, well, I don't, some of you, I could pour the whole thing in there because that's how much fear you have, right? So you got a lot of fear, some of you do. But I just put in a little bit, just a little bit of fear. And what happens in life is that you get shook up by fear. Have you ever been shook up by fear? And what happens when you get shook up by fear? Look what happened. Look at all those bubbles. You see that? It, get, it doesn't get better, it gets worse, right? It, the fear isn't going away, it's just blooming out and getting more and more and bigger and bigger. This is what happens when we try to shake fear. Have you ever tried to shake fear out of your life? Right? <laughs> Not gonna be afraid. This is what's happening. I'm not gonna be afraid. You're just creating more fear. So what God says is this, if you wanna get rid of all the fear in your life, you can't do this all by yourself. You've gotta rely on his love. Do you, do you understand that? God says, if you'll be filled with my love, and this is God's love right here, that red, that's for love, if you let my love fill you, what happens to the fear in you? It pushes it out. It gets rid, it's getting, look at that. All the fear now is gone, and what's left? God's love. Do you understand that? See, this is what Paul is talking about in this passage. This is what John was saying in 1 John chapter 4, verse 17 through 18. No fear exists where his love is. Rather, perfect love gets rid of fear. Are you living in fear right now? 
I mean, some of you might be living in fear because you're thinking about what might happen because of the coronavirus. You're living in fear because you're thinking, well, the economy might go bad, I might get laid off from my job, uh, all, I might get sick, I might die. You're living in fear from all of this. You got a lot of fear, you got a ton of fear in your life. You got this much fear. I only put a couple of drops of fear in the water and look at what it did. Imagine if I put all of this in there. What would have happened? Hard to get rid of that, huh? And that's the way some of, us, some of us are living. We're living in all this fear. Maybe you're living in, in fear because you're thinking, well, what might happen in November with the election? Some of you right now, you're thinking, what happens if Trump gets elected? What happens if Biden gets elected? You're living in fear. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff that's gonna happen. It's all gonna fall apart for one reason or another. You're living in fear. Are you following me? That is not the way God wants us to live. He wants us to live in confidence, trusting him, not trusting some vaccine. I don't care if I'm stepping on toes right now or not. Don't trust a doctor. Don't trust a scientist. Are you following me? Don't put your confidence in a person who might hold the highest office in the land. I don't care who that person is. If you put your confidence and trust in a person, you're gonna be sadly disappointed. Your confidence level is going to just go down the tubes. You're gonna be crying all day long for the rest of your life because there's gonna be always something out there that's gonna let you down and disappoint you. But listen, God says, I don't want you to live in fear, I want you to live in trust and confidence in me. Jeremiah 17, verse seven says, blessed, but blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. The Bible tells us very clearly, in fact, I don't have my, my phone on me right now, but in Psalm 118, it tells us, do not put your confidence in any person. Put it in the Lord. 